Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to add a website inside of Webhost Manager. So those of you that are resellers that hold a reseller account with us, this is how you add sub accounts to your um, hosting package. Those of you that have a managed server with us, this is how you add additional websites into your server. Okay, so to get started, we're going to be here in the client area at NameHero. So to get to this, we just go to NameHero.com and, and click on login. Or you can just go to namehero.com slash clientarea.php. So we're going to log in with our username and password. Okay, this is our main dashboard. So we're going to click on here. Now for my example, I'm going to be using a reseller account. So you can see right here is my active one. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, and I'm going to have all the information about my reseller account here. So to access Webhost Manager, the quickest and easiest way to do that is just to click right here, log into Webhost Manager. It just takes us one second and here we are, we're securely inside of Webhost Manager. Now, before you can add a website, you have to make sure you already added a package. And this is for our resellers. If you've got a managed server, you don't have to have a package, but it's just for the reseller accounts. So to check this, you can click on packages and you can click on edit the package. And you can see I've got mine here um, for my basic hosting sites. And if you've read my articles and seen my other videos on setting up packages, you know that because you're a reseller, in the way that Webhost Manager is designed, we have to have values for disk and bandwidth. So even if it is unlimited, we just want to put a bunch of nines in there. And I'll make sure it's unlimited. And that's just a limitation of Webhost Manager in the way it's set up. Okay, so to add the website, what we're going to do is we are going to go to create a new account. So instead of scrolling through all this, we can just start to type it here. Create, and you can see it comes up right here. So create the new account. For, so for this demonstration, I'm going to use um, websitehero.com. I'm going to use one of the domains that I already have in um, my account. Webs I'm sorry, websitehero.net. So I'll type this in here, websitehero.net. It's going to automatically give it a username. If you're happy with that, just leave it. This is the username that that, that client or that to, will be used to enter that cPanel. So once this is set up, websitehero.net slash cPanel will go to the control panel for this site. And this will be the username. Now, because of this, you want to use a very strong password. And that's why Webhost Manager has a password generator, just to make sure that you are using something that's strong. And you can keep clicking generate till you find one that's strong enough to meet your needs. But you never want to use something that's easy to guess because, um, unfortunately, hackers, they have a pretty sophisticated technology and they try almost everything to get in. So use something like this here and just make sure you store this in a safe place. Now, you can see it does ask you to confirm that you've saved that password. You can retrieve it later, but it's just best to save it. Okay, next you're going to enter the email address, and this is the email address for the webmaster of this website. So if this is a client, you would enter your client's address. If this is one of your sites, you would enter your email address. I'm just going to leave it blank for this demonstration. Okay, so you want to select the package, and this is one we already created. It was just unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth. Next, you want to leave everything else default. If you, if you don't know what they mean, then just leave it default. For example, this is going to give it access to for to run CGI scripts. Nine out of ten times, you want that anyways. Um, this is the language. Um, most of you in the United States are going to select English or Spanish, um, but you know, feel free to change that based on the needs of yourself or the the clients. And we can scroll down here for DNS. Um, leave this default, uh, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Um, if you are going to use Cloudflare's DNS or a third-party DNS provider, you can use the name servers that the domain's registrar. Um, but if you don't know what you're doing, I, I just recommend that you don't do that. Uh, I just recommend that you leave it like that. And next, for mail settings, you can automatically detect, which is recommended. That's the safe bet. Um, and the system automatically detect what you're using. Um, or you can just leave it at local mail exchanger, which is the default. Either one of those is going to be fine. Now, when you see, scroll down here, you can see this is how much space and bandwidth you actually have left on your reseller account. So you can see what, this is a new reseller account, so we've got plenty of disk space and bandwidth. So I'm going to click on Create, and it just takes a, a brief second to create and set everything up, and, and there you go. So now the, the account's set up. Now, for me to be able to begin using this, I need to take these name servers right here, and I need to plug them into my new domain. So I need to go over here to websitehero.net. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on name servers. And I'm going to edit them in here. 
Okay, so I'll change these. I'm going to click Use Custom, and I'm going to change these to what's listed in here. So I'm going to use the ns1.resellhero.com and ns2.resellhero.com. So it's going to paste this in here and save those. Okay, so once that's done, um, it, there's a little bit of a propagation period. So that normally takes an hour or two in the United States. If you're international out of the United States, sometimes it may take a little bit longer depending on your internet service provider. Um, but to make sure that all this stuff created correctly, you can type in list and then click list accounts. And you can see it's right here as the resale hero. And it gives you, um, or website hero rather, it gives you the username. We didn't enter the contact email. And you can see you also have the orange cPanel icon. So if you forget the password, the cPanel password, you can actually click here, click on the cPanel, and virtually log into that cPanel account. So now you can see this is the cPanel that, that you're used to. So this is the quickest and easiest and best way to host unlimited websites on your Name Hero account. Um, if you, you know, if you, and we talked about this, I talked about this in a recent blog post about how to host multiple WordPress domains. This is how to, this is, uh, was in that tutorial as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let our team know. We're standing by to help you out. But it's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward to add an additional website into Webhost Manager. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you learned something. And remember, for all your managed web hosting needs, check us out, namehero.com.